we have our clips in our timeline. We don't need all 20 minutes of clips. We are gonna cut out everything that's unnecessary and only leave the necessary things. These clips come with audio, right? I don't need any of the audio in this case. When I select each clip, it also selects the audio. This is the video portion of it, and this is the audio portion of it. Right now, the clips are what is called linked. And you can tell that they're linked because the little V here for video is in these hard brackets. We are going to unlink the audio from the video so that we can delete the audio. Select all the clips. We can either draw a marquee box around them or press command A to select all of them. Right click and go to unlink. Ta-da, now we're able to select all the audio and video independently. And that little V in brackets at the end of the file name is gone. We can just select all these audio clips and delete them. We don't need them. Now we can scrub through and get rid of things that we don't want or don't need in this video. First, let's cut it up the way that it is. You can zoom in on your timeline over here by dragging these two points closer to each other or farther from each other. I need to cut out this section. I can either go to the razor tool right here cut right there, then go back to the selection tool, which is over here, select that, delete it, move this forward. That is one way to cut out the beginning of a clip. Another way to do this is instead of going over and physically choosing the razor tool, you can see that the shortcut here is C that makes it a razor tool. So you can cut that. Then you can click V to go back to your selection tool, select it, delete it, and then move that forward. Another way to do it is basically slice the clip at your playhead or at your current time indicator. If I wanted to cut it right there, that shortcut is Command K and I can place that cut there and I can delete it and move it forward. Or I can ripple delete it, do Command D that ripple deletes it. You can also select it, right click, go ripple delete from the menu. Or the easiest way to do it is to press Q on your keyboard. And what the Q button does is it places a cut at the current time indicator at the playhead. It basically does command K for you and it deletes everything before the cut and after the previous cut. In this case, this is the previous cut and this is the cut that we are making. If I press just the Q button, there we go. And now it starts there. Or if you forget a shortcut, you can go to edit keyboard shortcuts and here you can search for keyboard shortcuts and it will tell you exactly what that keyboard shortcut is. If you type in ripple delete, it'll show you. What I wanna do is rearrange the clips. The first clip is actually at the end and the last clip is at the beginning. I'll go to this clip. I wanna move it to the front, but if I just move it to the front, it overrides on top of the clip that's already there. In order to ripple it, move it to the front while all the other clips scooch over, what I have to do is as I'm moving it, I hold down Alt and command at the same time. And that scooches all the clips. So I'm gonna do that for every clip, just changing the order of it. This is what's called an assembly. Here I have all of my clips assembled. My A roll is assembled, which means that everything is in the order that I want it to be. And all of the usable footage is here. Now I wanna keep this for later. I don't want to chop up this particular sequence because I wanna duplicate it and then chop up the duplicate. I'm gonna to go to to the name of the sequence, right click and say reveal sequence in project. And it shows me exactly where in my project that sequence is. I'll right click and I'll go to duplicate here at the top. And there it is. It has duplicated it right here, assembly copy one. I can rename that and then open up assembly cut by double clicking on it. And you can see now I've opened up assembly cut. They look exactly identical at this moment. Bye.